recruiting scandal continues. Tonight, Eyewitness News has learned it cost you, the taxpayer, tens of thousands of dollars. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live at Veterans Memorial Stadium in New Britain, where the rivalry between Berlin and New Britain is about to go down. Matthew. Well, Dennis, the game's going to kick in about an hour or so, and let me tell you, the bad blood will be boiling over between New Britain and Berlin. You can take a look behind me as the band just actually came into the stadium. There's two separate entrances, one for New Britain and then one for the Berlin fans as well, and extra security has been added here, all after this recruiting scandal that was uncovered by New Britain. Now, if it wasn't uncovered, taxpayers in Berlin would continue paying for players that didn't live there. As another chapter in the annual wishbone rivalry is about to be written, an asterisk will forever be placed next to this year's game after the CIAC, Connecticut Interscholastic Athletic Conference, discovered Berlin was recruiting players from New Britain. One, I feel very sorry for these boys because they were given something and then it was taken away. The four ineligible players from New Britain were taking away spots on the field and seats in the classroom that were always intended for kids from Berlin. Weren't able maybe to have a a position on the team because somebody else uh, unfairly took it from them. The CIAC handed down punishments this week. The four players from New Britain are banned from ever playing again. Berlin head coach John Capodice suspended by the district. But the scandal goes far beyond the gridiron. It hits taxpayers in their wallets. Each district is a little bit different. Um, but for a, a family to come in and take advantage of another school's resources like that, that's, you know, if you do it multiple years, you're talking a lot of money. In Berlin, the superintendent confirms that each high school student costs taxpayers $14,982 a year. In these four cases, that's money that was being spent on New Britain kids, seemingly just to gain an edge here on the field. I feel pretty robbed. Taxpayers will foot another bill. The CIAC fined Berlin $4,000, a thousand for each violation. The team also had to vacate all wins, so the majority of players, all of whom are innocent, have no shot at the playoffs. I feel really bad for the football players because they've worked really, you know, from Berlin, well, all of them, but they've worked really hard for these wins, and those were also taken away. A live look here at Veterans Memorial as this game will kick in about an hour. And this game will be played for pride. Roaming the sidelines for Berlin will be assistant coach Rob Levesque. The long-term future for Coach Capodice, that's still unknown. That is the latest live here with the Mobile Newsroom in New Britain. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 